Hi there. I'm going to address some concerns today about chicken manure. Whether or not you can use it in your garden, is it caustic, is it toxic, will it burn my plants, will it kill anything that it touches? Alright, we're going to talk about using chicken manures. Now, I use chicken manure a lot in my garden. My chickens, as you can see here, they're my uh, little mini cultivators. I put them down my garden rows, they fertilize, cultivate everything in the off season of growing here. Hey guys. So, chicken manure. A lot of people say that chicken manure is this hot manure. As, and by hot, they usually say that it's got too much nitrogen in it to be safe around your garden and it has to be aged. Some people are trying to tell me you need to age chicken manure for six months or a year or even longer before it's even close to safe to put on your garden. I had folks tell me you gotta compost it completely so it's all all black and crumbly dirt before you can throw it in your garden because it's just too strong because there's too much nitrogen. Well, not true. Okay, first off the nitrogen content in chicken manure when it's really quite fresh is about three percent. Now if you think about that, how strong are the fertilizers you usually use? A weaker fertilizer, you're talking 10, 10, 10, that's 10 percent nitrogen. It's a lot stronger than 3 percent nitrogen in, in the freshest chicken manures. The second point is how fresh is your chicken manure? If it's not liquid sludge fresh from that day or maybe just for the day before, then it's not going to have near that 3 percent mark. Uh, this fertilizer aspect, the nitrogen mainly, in the chicken manures dissipates honestly after just a couple days over half of the nitrogen is gone in it under most circumstances. It's a lot slower if it's in cold or <laughs> cold weather like it is today out here about 40 degrees out a little chilly and nippy but if it's on a warm sunnier day chicken manure that's three days old at that point has very little nitrogen left in it for the most part. It's already gassing out in the form of ammonia gases forms like an ammonia nitrate and it just gasses out and you lose easily half the nitrogen in the first day or two. Easily. So if you're concerned about using your chicken manure in your garden, whether or not it's too strong, most likely it's not. Could be, but most likely it's not. I just cleaned out my coop here. Um, I don't clean my coop every day, do you? If you don't, then the manure isn't going to be fresh manure. If you clean out your coop once a week, most of your manure is going to be at least a couple days old. If you clean it out once a month, most of the manure is going to be at least a week or two old. If you throw bedding materials in your, in your uh, chicken coop, straw, sawdust, wood shavings, grass clippings or corn shucks, whatever you throw in there to keep it a little more dry, well you've just greatly watered down that that available nitrogen content that's in the chicken manure by throwing in the bedding. And just from my independent observations, most of the manures people scrape out of the chicken coop is at least half bedding. If you're using something like straw, there's absolutely no nitrogen in straw. So if you got half of the manure composition coming out of your chicken coop is straw, then even if it all was completely fresh, no more than day old manure, at best you got like one and a half percent nitrogen, which is pretty darn low. If you got manure like this stuff, see this is to the point where it's kind of caked, it's gone fairly dry, it's kind of got some layers to it. That stuff's only got about a one percent nitrogen to it, which is equivalent to your average cow manure or horse manure by the time you get it. Now with cow manures, people steer manure. People say that stuff's too hot to use in your garden. Well, only if you get like the fresh liquid sludge from a from a steer farm, this same day stuff. If you get like dry form manure like cow patties, cow pies and stuff when it's more dry and crumbly, throw it in your garden, just break it up so it tills in. It won't burn anything. There's hardly any nitrogen left at that point. Fresh manure is where the danger is. Right guys? Still then though, I've got to say, uh, I have a lot of chickens and I free range them quite a bit. I've never seen little brown spots all over my, all over the lawn, all over the, well, I don't have a lawn, in the field or in the garden when the chickens are free ranging. My mother has a, a lawn 
she has oh maybe 20 chickens or so roaming across her backyard all day and there's never little brown spots all over from the chickens so I can't see any actual evidence that most cases even fresh chicken manure will burn anything on your plants now it's a possibility the thing I can see about it is as opposed to something like your horse manures or cow manures that are generally about half as much nitrogen as the as the chicken manure you can kind of shovel that on pretty thick in large clumps and leave it and it doesn't hurt anything whereas if you take the chicken manure say it is maybe a two percent strength nitrogen if you shovel that the same thickness you would maybe a old horse manure or cow manure on your garden well now you've got like three times the nitrogen content so now there is a chance to burn something that's like sprinkling twice as much fertilizer on accident on top of your garden you put enough nitrogen there there is a chance you can burn something that's probably more the issue is just overusing it I mean I've run all the numbers on this which is really hard because I'm not a math guy but everything I can see in the nitrogen content the amount of nitrogen that it seems to take to burn any of the plants I've grown basically overuse of it is the issue if you're gonna put on take chicken manure and put it in your garden during the growing season when you have plants in it this stuff is right now kind of chunky as you can see you got to break it up a little bit if it doesn't break up well I mean take a shovel or a hoe and just kind of grind it and chop it so it's smaller pieces so you don't get any huge pieces with too much nitrogen in one spot then go through and just lightly hose everything down just to make sure you just kind of helps to break it down a little more dissipates the nitrogen into the soil a little quicker and rinses any big pieces that may have been on your leaves rinses those off um, you can also a lot of guys do this and it works take your your manure and either your wheelbarrow or a bucket whatever you can shove it in and just put enough water in it that you can kind of churn it into a bit of a sludge then just take that sludge and carefully pour it down along your garden rows. If you're doing it that way, you can even completely miss pouring it all along your plants. You can just pour it down in the dirt between your plants. Uh, but I, during the growing season, when I'm putting the manure out, I just mix it all up, chop it up into pieces, shovel it down through the garden row among the plants, and then just rinse the plants off a little bit with the hose. Nothing to be too concerned about. Don't over fret about it it's not too tricky or complicated all right I now I've got to go spread some manure well, the last part here that I didn't mention yet is and people ask this one too, how much manure do you need to put in your garden? How much chicken manure is enough? Well, most fertilizing schedules of maintenance for gardens is approximately, it's based on the approximate 50 pounds of nitrogen per acre rule. Sometimes you'll go a little heavier, more like 100 pounds of nitrogen per acre. If you're getting ready for a crop like corn, something that takes a lot of nitrogen. And if, if, if you've been working less intensive in your garden, cover cropping, that kind of thing, and moving, rotating through your crops with, in a smart manner, 50 pounds of nitrogen is great. So how much chicken manure for your garden? Well, I have notes because math is not my strong point. So when your chicken manure is older, it's got some bedding mixed in with it, the general figure is 1% nitrogen strength. For an older chicken manure, especially if there's any bedding mixed in with it, might even be less. Test it, you know, apply it and then test the ground later to see if it's good or not. That's why you always want to add it earlier in the off season so it gets a month to work in the soil and you can test it. This is all based on the figures that this manure has about 1% nitrogen in it because it's old manure. If you've got old manure or any bedding mixed in with it, you're going to have 1% maybe even down to half a percent. So make sure you test your soil before you actually grow to see if you need to add more. This is, my figures are based on 1% nitrogen, which was my manures. 
So two cubic feet of manure in this 1% nitrogen for my chicken manure, that's good for eight by eight garden plot. Three cubic feet per 100 square feet, approximately. 27 cubic feet is for 1,000 square feet. And to make this easier, a five gallon bucket holds about two thirds cubic foot. A one gallon pail holds about an eighth of a cubic foot. There's uh, 7.6 something, 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 something gallons in a cubic foot. Yeah, <laughs> numbers. So this plot here is about a 28, about a 30. I'll go just over that edge. 30 by 10. 30 by 10, 300 square feet. That means I got to add about 900 cubic feet. No, excuse me. My goodness. Yeah, numbers. 300 square feet means I got to add about nine cubic feet of manure here. So that would be just under two full heaping uh, wheelbarrows. My wheelbarrow holds six cubic feet if it's slightly rounded on the top. So if I do level, well, a level wheelbarrow full there is about four cubic feet. So if I do that twice, and then just a little bit more, that'll be all I need for this garden plot, and then I can grow some good corn here next year. Well, that's, yeah, that's about the end of it now. So I'll finish throwing this manure out. Like this little bit here. And you guys can get on to shoveling your own chicken manure and growing some good vegetables and produce. Bye now.